Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your second reading of the day. The first one was Down Home Funk and it's more like Down Home Groove. You know, finding your groove, finding your spot, finding the place that suits you. And we're just talking about going on your way, not fighting and being just yourself. That's your magic right now, Pisces. That's what's going to get you there. It's not a fight. It's, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's more of just being decisive of who you want. Saying yes to the adventure. It's not you fighting the world, it's you just being who you're meant to be. Okay? So you have accelerated motion. I love this right here. Um, I'm going to read from you for, for you from uh, the book. I love what it says. It says, this is speed, flight, swift movement, hope, passion, and above all, endings to delays. The conditions around you are perfect and appear to be rapidly heading in the direction of your goals and desires. Luck is on your side, and your enthusiasm is at an all-time high. Brace yourself as you finally witness the manifestation of what you've worked for and visualized. This is a call for initiative, but you should also ask yourself, is there anything else in my life that I need to act on now? Be wise and take advantage of these ideal conditions. There you go. Now isn't the time for you to fight against the river of life. I, I'm glad they said that. I was talking about that so much this morning. <laughs> I thought, oh, I hope this is that's what needs to be said, but they said it again. Now isn't the time for you to fight Against the river of life, trust, have faith, and go with the flow. The strong current is taking you to a positive outcome and future. And we're not talking about that pool where other people have been uh, directing the flow of things. We're talking about the flow of life, the direction where it's taking you. All right, my beautiful Pisces, let's see here. I'm going to take from the Mystical Moments Oracle and also Tarot. Oh, sunny day. We've been getting that. No rain today, and now, oh, sunny day. <laughs> and the gardener. There you go. Time to plant the seeds. Time to do the things that's going to bring everything in. Oh, sunny day. I love it. Four. That beautiful card of, uh, always makes me think for celebration, seeing where you've been, seeing where you're going, accomplishments and results, taking a look back and taking stock. I love that. The gardener. You're so ready to plant. You're so ready to do your thing, Pisces. Go ahead and do that. Plant your seed, okay? Find your groove. Find your spot. And get it done. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love the fact that she's like a building, a foundation. It's like the tower. And look out at the tower. It's growing. The light of the hermit and the beautiful plants. You are so doing it. You are so doing it. And you have a 9 here, 27. Ace of Swords coming out again. Came out this morning. Absolutely. There's that strength card. Man, does it want to come out, doesn't it? Seven of Pentacles. The Assessment card. Page of Pentacles. That's come out a lot. Coming out some more. 
the moon. King of Swords also came out this morning. <laughs> And the King of Swords. There's two King of Swords in this deck, and this one came out the other way. Hmm. Well, look at that. Interesting. Okay, Pisces. So, it said it. I read it. End of the delays, right here. Two of Swords in reverse, right here. Okay? That's the end of the delay. The Queen of Pentacles, the Nurturing the Seeds. It's right here. Okay? She's right there. Absolutely. Getting confirmation, synchronicity in the cards. The King of Wands telling you, take the power back, do it. The Ace of Swords telling you, breakthrough. You're moving forward. You're building that thing, which is ultimately you. It's not about fighting. It's about taking control of your own destiny in your own life and doing the things you need to do to grow and to continue growing. Okay? Absolutely. You have here the strength card showing you that strength. Of course, she's not she's not making him do anything. She's kind of, you know, cajoling him, rubbing his jaw and his mane, and helping him see that the cooperation between the two, he can get a lot more out of her than eating her up, right, and mauling her. They can have a cooperation with each other where they can benefit from each other. So this is banishing the fear in your life and, and realizing that the high-vibing emotions is going to serve you a lot more. Okay, The fear would be the mauling because then it, it kills everything and any hope of anything. And when you get rid of that and you nurture something better, things start to grow. And you've been doing that, this assessment of how you can use, how you can better grow the fruit that you want. I told you this year, it's all about assessing and growing the good parts. It's not just weeding out the bad parts, because even that is, is acknowledging that there's bad parts, right? And you're focusing on the bad parts. You've done that. You've worked on that. You've healed that. Now it's time to focus on the good stuff, on the stuff that's going to propel you and give you power. Okay? The Page of Pentacles showing you there's new seeds to plant, new things to discover. You know, if I mix this apple and that apple, will I get a brand new apple? Maybe. Maybe it's something that will be so tasty and beautiful. And you're the one who is um, orchestrating it. Okay? You're building something brand new, something beautiful. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's bad. Just because it's changed doesn't mean that it's bad. You will have people who will try to keep the illusion of what was alive. You're not here to change everybody. You're not here to put everybody on your side either. And I've said that before this morning. You're here to see the big picture for yourself. This is about you. More than anything ever has ever been right now. This is about you and your path in life and what you want to follow and what you want to do. The fact that this, I always think that he has the eye of a bird to help him see above. One eye in physical reality and one eye to see above and beyond. Not everybody has that, though. People are very narrow-minded. Sometimes they can only see their side. I don't think that's a... I, as a Pisces, it's never really been my problem, to tell you the truth. Even in the worst of conditions where I wholeheartedly don't agree, I can most of the time see why somebody who came up with that would come up with that idea. Just by looking at them, by the conditions of their life, what they've been through, how they grew up, all of that. I can put all that together and see why they could have possibly 
come up with that solution that I don't agree with. So you can always see both sides. The thing is right now is you're not trying to see both sides of everybody else. You're trying to see your your path, your way. Okay, you need to flip this so that the journey that you're taking is going to give you the light you need to see beyond everything. Because right now it's this way. Which means that you are still very much focusing, not just on your difficulties or problems, but other people's. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and when they don't do the same for us, Pisces, don't we get disappointed? Don't we? Don't we get disappointed? that people don't give us as much effort as we've given them. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? <laughs> Isn't that so disappointing on us? There's a great way to stop that from happening. It's to stop analyzing them. It's to stop expecting it from them. You know who you shouldn't be disappointed in? Yourself. Yourself. You need to work on you. You need to grow things. You need to create your sunny days and your rainy days so that your crops can be fed. You can build that foundation and keep it growing, nurture it, keep it going. And it's by taking control from within you and still that fire and that passion within you. See that path to spirituality and to accelerated motion by following your course. Assessment on what works for you. You, not the world, not what's wrong in the world, what's right for you in your life. How you can expand on that, make it grow, make it bigger. How you can keep seeing above. How you can spread the light and dispel the illusions. See? See the light showing the illusion? Mm-hmm. So you're seeing things for what they are, Pisces. The delays that are there, they're going. They're going. They're leaving. The magic of you is being able to move past all of those things all the time. You're creating that courage and that strength within you. You're breaking down the illusions that are there. You're seeing the bigger picture for yourself, not for others, because you need to begin with you. You need to see the breakthrough of things, and you need to grow the things that work. Always, always, big picture, but big picture for you. Now, some people would argue that you need to see the big picture, how it's going to affect everybody. But you know what, Pisces, if you're pure of heart, which I believe that all of you who come here, who stay here with me, are. You've got a good heart, and you've got a solid head on your shoulders. And you don't want to cause harm to people. If you're looking at the big picture for yourself and you start from an energy that's beautiful, then that's what you're going to put out in the world. That big picture window that you're looking out of. It's going to, it's going to spread its seedlings over the world in a good way. You can be responsible for what people do with for themselves. Everybody has a choice. We have free will. We're always afraid sometimes. We're always thinking we have to be responsible for the world. To some degree, there will always be those individuals that will twist things. The best thing, the best message that you have to give them into something that doesn't, that really misses the entire point, or the energy, I would say. It's happened to the nicest people in the world. And the last thing that they need to do is blame themselves for what a free will individual has done with a well-meaning message of love and light. We're all responsible for ourselves. And we all experience this for a reason or another. Sometimes that contrast is needed so that we can see the light through the darkness. So don't be too rough on yourself. Work on yourself. First, do what you have to. Assess what works. Keep going at it. Don't put everybody's burden on your shoulder. 
as soon as you let go of that Pisces, you'll find that you'll move faster. You'll find that you'll go into your groove. And if somebody does question, tell them, I need to be me. I need to be happy within me. I need to do this. Because then, when I'm happy, only then can I contribute the very best of who I am to everybody around me. It'll be a gift to everybody for me to be happy. That's the core of that. It's a lesson that we take sometimes a long time to learn. Such as people pleasers, it's even harder. All right, my beautiful ones, I'm going to let you go with this. Beautiful, beautiful readings this week, but they've been really powerful and wonderful in the last, oh, I don't know, they, they have been. I can't even think back now. Um, I'm grateful for you. Thank you for being here. If you like these, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to all. I'm here to empower you. I do more than readings. I'm empowering Pisces. I want you to take this energy and I want you to go out and feel good. After you listen to these, I want you to get up and say, I, I, I want to be my best self. That's my purpose here. To give you that, I don't know, that little extra oomph that I know you have within you. I can't see what you're doing out there in this world, but I always imagine that I can see your beautiful shining light radiating and that you get stronger every single day and that the planet will elevate because of it. And that makes me happy. Take care of yourself. Love, light, and blessings. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.